Good morning friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm giving you an overview of the Honda XADV dashboard and the functions of the Honda RoadSync app. Let me first show you the controls on the handlebar. Here on the left side we have a mode button. Here's the horn, turn signal, switch. The DCT can also be manually shifted. We have a minus button here, the plus button here on the top. So you can shift it with these two buttons. On the top here is a button for the high beam. On the right here, the button for the hazard lights. On the top you will find the FN button for the FN menu. I will show you in a second. And then we have a switch here, left, right, up and down to control the dashboard. On the right side you'll find the start button and the kill switch. Down here this is a control of the DCT. You can go and drive neutral and switch between automatic and manual shifting. So let's start with the display itself. On the left side we have the ref counter. In the middle speedometer. Under the speedometer there is the fuel gauge. And on the right side we have all the settings displayed of the DCT. On top there's a clock and the temperature. On the bottom here you will find the total kilometers, fuel consumption, average consumption, water temperature and you have four different settings here which you can configure by yourself and I have here water temperature, voltage, average speed, trip A, trip B, so a lot of settings that you can configure and you have a lot of information shown in the display there. With the FN button you get into a sub-menu, it's getting blue down here and there you have the settings for the heated grips. You have five different settings and you control it with the arrows up and down. So you can see five different settings. If you push the FN button once again you get into the daytime running lights on auto or on off. This is the LED daytime running lights and the next position if you push FN again these are the LED lights which can be switched off and on and you see the symbol here on top if it's switched on. This is the FN menu. If you push the control switch to the right for a few seconds then you get into the configuration menu and first you see all the functions like riding mode, shift point, self-canceling turn signals, trip A auto reset and econ mode. I can just show you what's inside there. So here you can configure your own user driving mode. First is power, then engine braking, drive, traction control and ABS. So you can configure your own personal riding mode. Next setting is the shift point. You can configure the shift point at which RPM it shall shift. The turn signals are self-canceling. You can turn it on and off. Of course you can auto reset trip A and you have an econ mode. This shows you in the ref counter the eco mode. Here you have the display type. You can choose between four different settings. Loop, design, analog and digital. I take loop. Next is of course the brightness of the display. The background can be black, white, metallic or auto. If you go for white I can show you it looks like this. The visibility of the white is really good. Next point is the favorite information. Here you can configure the bottom info panel. You have four infos and you can configure each point separately with the information that you wish. User letter. I don't know what is user letter. XADV. Ah, okay. This is um, the name which is shown at the beginning. I just leave it with XADV. So next point is general. Date and time. Okay. You don't have to tell anything about this. Unit. You can change the speed between kilometers and miles. Then we have language. You can choose between Japanese, English, French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, everything is there. 
Restore default, I don't want to do this. Bluetooth pairing reset, at this point you need to pair your smartphone to use the Honda RoadSync app. I will show you in a second. Service, maintenance, distance for my next oil change and service. If you install any additional stuff like grip heater or the fog lights, then they will be enabled here. Here are the regulatories and that's it. That's a display with all the functions and the configuration possibilities. With the mode button on the left you can change the riding modes. Now I am in standard, then in rain. As you can see always when I am changing the riding mode, like now I'm gravel, I have a lot of power, a lot of engine braking and all these settings are changing of course with each setting. Sport of course has most power, most engine braking, less traction control. This is a standard mode and in rain of course less engine braking, less power, shifting is quite early, not so aggressive and traction control and ABS are on maximum. This is all the information that is shown in the display here. I will show you now the connection with the Honda RoadSync app. I already started it. So first to connect it we have to go in the menu again. First you have to go to general, then Bluetooth pairing reset. I reset now. Hold the button long and go back. And now we see the blinking Bluetooth symbol here. You say connect. Honda BTU. So now my smartphone wants to connect. I say yes, connect. Accept. So and now we have the navigation, music and volume settings. Everything is in German because my smartphone is in German. Back to menu, music. You can also see here in the display it's shown music. Back to menu and now I go to the navigation. So let's see, I want to go to the next gas station. This is a next gas station. Let's say, okay, I want to go there. I have the navigation displayed over here and then you get the arrows left, right, straight. So and with the arrow up and down on the handlebars on the left, you can control the volume. You can see here, volume up, volume down. So now you have, even if you turn this one off, you have the navigation in the display and you can hear it on your helmet. And here on the top you see a smartphone connected with the Honda XADV. So the Honda RoadSync, it's okay if you like to have uh, the navigation displayed in the display. I think the app uh, needs a lot of work. It's very simple. The display, it's very small, so mm, I think this could be better. I had a BMW before and this was completely different league. It was much bigger, a lot of information inside, especially when you play music, you can see what kind of songs and you see the covers. It's not like Apple CarPlay, but, but close to it. And this is here very, very simple. But you can see the navigation now inside the display. So if you need these functions, you can use the Honda RoadSync app. Normally I use uh, Google Maps for navigation and for music I use Apple Music or Spotify or whatever. So it's okay, but at least you have something like a mini navigation inside your display. I hope you liked the video about the display of the Honda XADV. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I see you of course in the next video. Have a safe ride. Cheers.